the last thing I expected was for somebody to say, you lost, clear was on I said, well, it's like, you need to leave the village. I said, no, I work here. All of us have been socially conditioned, shall I say, to expect what a politician looks like, behaves like. So because I didn't fit that narrative, I didn't fit that stereotype, I was clearly I was lost and I didn't basically belong and as a member of the European Parliament. Europe is diverse. The people in power are not. There are just 28 non-white members of the European Parliament. All of the EU's top jobs are held by white people, but at least 50 million people here, 50 million Europeans, are from ethnic minorities. So what is going on? Does the EU have a race problem? Shall I tell you what my three-point plan was when I first came as an MEP? Number one, stop Brexit. I think I, I failed at that. I ah, right, stop. Yeah, yeah. Number two, dismantle the EU. And when we rebuild it, we'll make sure it's fit for purpose. And number three, smash the far right so hard that when the likes of Salvini, Le Pen, Farage and Orban go to sleep in their comfortable beds, the one person who will keep them awake at night is a black Muslim refugee. What I had a problem with is when Ursula von der Leyen said her cabinet represents what Europe is today, which couldn't be further from the truth. There was only young people, people from like different ethnic backgrounds, and the elected representatives of the European Parliament, they do not reflect the, the people they're there to meant to represent. And it's not just even like the members of the European Parliament, if you look at the staff, the senior director of staff, I don't think there's a single black person, a single person of colour in those high roles. And again, you need to question, is this good for Europe? So you don't need to be in Brussels to see where Majid is coming from. We can just go on Instagram, right? So you type in EU and here they come. These are the EU commissioners reimagined as gifts, for people in those top jobs. Not one of them isn't white. In fact, in more than 60 years, there's never been a non-white EU commissioner. Diversity is one of the hallmarks of the European Union, and uh, I not think it's not white. It's not. It is uh, diversity is the hallmark of the European Union, and uh, the more we have, uh, for example, in Parliament or in the Commission or in the administration of the Commission, the better. I don't think the EU is taking it seriously enough and the EU has a huge race issue. When I talk about systemic, I talk about the fact that once you start looking at the bigger picture, you realise that the people making the decisions and the people benefiting are very similar. And the people who are the brunt of all of these sort of uh, multiple issues are the people who are not on the decision making table. Between us, between students, uh, we're like really diverse. Like, for example, she's Chinese, I'm Guadeloupian, there are like Arabs and black and like different backgrounds. But more and more that you go high up in, in the hierarchy and like companies and politics, etc., and etc., the diversity just like disappears. So, even if people agree there's an issue, solving it when you travel across Europe, you can see how sensitive that is because in France, a country that officially sees no race, sees no difference between people. Collecting data on race and ethnicity is illegal. When it comes to solving the problem, the clash between the cultures makes it even more difficult. Moi, je, je serais quand même assez peiné de voir arriver élu dans, un, dans une assemblée représentative quelqu'un qui ne serait élu ou sur une liste uniquement qu'en fonction de la couleur de sa peau. On pourrait faire le même genre de considération sur l'origine sociale des élus. Je suis députée européenne des Outre-mer. Vous voyez déjà la diversité puisque je suis de la Caraïbe. Au niveau où il y a les présidentes ou les présidents, il y a plus de femmes, plus d'hommes que de femmes. Ça, par contre, c'est le seul souci que j'ai vu au niveau du Parlement. So there is an EU commissioner for equality. We tried many times to speak to them. They refused every time. Now their job description is to strengthen Europe's commitment to inclusion. Apparently, they don't want to talk about that inside the EU. Instead, they sent us over to the commissioner who deals with budget and administration. They did email us back and they said that discrimination on any grounds, including on race, is prohibited. They went on to say that actions are being taken, not massively specific which actions, uh, for the commission to remain an attractive and motivating place for a diverse workforce. That's what the EU had to say. What do you think? Thank you.